going on guys? Uh, we're gonna introduce the new daily today because I ran into some problems with the EM2 all wheel drive build. Uh, this will hopefully put into perspective for anybody else looking to build uh, kind of what you're gonna need uh, going into this thing. The trailing arms for the CRV and actually for the Civic have these 10 point uh, bolts, three of them on each side for the lower control arm. I am putting new lower control arms on anyways, uh, aftermarket ones, so I want them removed. But in doing that, it will give me a straight shot at the bolt for the uh, strut because I need to take the CRV struts out and put the Civic struts in. You also need to replace uh, this welded nut on the back side. The CRV bolt is larger than the Civic bolt, so the Civic bolt doesn't fit in here. And I found the solution online. Um, what a lot of people are doing is they're knocking the bolt that's in there out because it's just held on with a couple tack welds. So they're knocking it out or cutting it out and then using the stock Civic hardware, which is exactly what we're gonna do just to kind of keep it clean looking. I will tack weld it back into place afterwards. I've seen where people just use a nut and hold it on there, but I kind of want it looking as original as possible. So until my 10 point socket comes in, which says it's about three days, we're gonna put the all wheel drive Civic on hold until then. And we're going to try to get the K24 out of the CRV this week up on the stand so we can start ripping the block apart and getting the new head and we got to put a uh, manual transmission on because this one has an automatic. So make some progress doing that kind of stuff this week, but I need to get the new daily um, in here and look at the front end because the steering on those O3 Cummins are absolutely garbage. Uh, I am very suspect that the steering box has called it quits. So. We're gonna go through the front end, start from the ball joints and tie rods and kind of work in from there, leaving the steering box to the last thing, but I'm almost positive that's what it is. But we'll get it pulled in and we'll go through it. thing I'm noticing right away, I'll show you guys on the steering wheel, it's going to be hard to see, this wheel is actually turned into the driver's side just a little bit. And the wheel looks like it's about one o'clock. So. I think the first thing we're going to do is, both sides look to be the same way. Both aim towards the driver's side. So we're going to get the wheels straight. And then uh, we're going to try adjusting the steering wheel, getting it straight, and see if that helps the pull a little bit. I do feel a little bit of play in the uh, steering gearbox in the bottom, but uh, I'm going to have to get the truck up once the steering wheel is straight. So tires, uh, it's hard to see, but tires aren't on the ground. There's about an inch of gap, maybe a little less. And kind of eyeballing the alignment. I feel I got the passenger side dead on. Now the driver's side, it feels like I'm towing in just a little bit, maybe just slightly. But I did notice right away We still got the steering wheel off by a few degrees at least. So, simple fix. Crawl under, you got your pitman arm. You're gonna come to this joint. You're gonna loosen off both. 
and you're gonna crank it until your steering wheel comes straight, tighten up the bolts, should be done there. Another thing I noticed is the uh, completely missing a bushing from the sway bar end link. So something else we're gonna have to replace. But I'm gonna go over the steering wheel first and then we're gonna move into the ball joints and make sure everything's nice and tight. Makes life easy, you can get in here with an impact. 15 millimeter. Just grab yourself a stubby flat screwdriver. We're gonna drive her backwards or clockwise, I guess it'd actually be. Do one full rotation, see where we're at. So if you're looking down from the steering, from the driver's side, and you do one full rotation clockwise, I move the steering wheel from basically it was sitting about one o'clock and now I'd say we're sitting pretty much dead center at 12 o'clock. So we'll go back, tighten up those bolts and start looking over the ball joints. So we're right back to where I thought it was. And if you look at the steering shaft, I've got probably over an inch of movement at least before it even starts to harden out and try to move the uh, pitman arm. So that everything seems to be moving a lot better in the steering wheel. I'm holding it a little bit straighter as we go down the road, but there's definitely still a ridiculous amount of slop in it without any reaction. So. Definitely gonna need a new steering box. So we'll order that up this week and hopefully get that installed in one of the videos and hopefully get our 10 point socket in so we can continue up on the all wheel drive EM2. Thanks for coming guys.